Oh, every time I exercise, my heartbeat increases. I get extremely sweaty and out of breath. Ugh, I think I'm allergic to exercising. If this statement resonates with you, you definitely need to watch this video. In today's Data Dose What Would Happen If series, we're going to explore the immense benefits of regular exercise that go well beyond the aesthetic appeal. So, lace up those sneakers, hit the subscribe button, and join us on the marathon of exercising regularly. Did you know, for every one hour of aerobic exercise, you add two hours to your lifespan? But what is that you say? Should we focus on quality rather than quantity? Well, research also shows that regular exercise can help stimulate brain health, increase levels of HDL, also known as the good cholesterol, and relieve depression as well. There is also strong evidence that higher levels of consistent physical activity can lower the risk of several types of cancer. But let's pause for a minute. Before diving deep into the long-term effects, let's start with the basic. You can't lift 100 pounds on the first go now, can you? Or rather, you shouldn't. What are the immediate effects you'll see once you start exercising regularly? As soon as you hit the treadmill or lift those weights, your heart rate begins to soar. This is because your body needs to deliver more oxygen to your muscles to meet the increased demand. Your lungs work overtime, pumping in more oxygen, and voila! You're breathing harder. Meanwhile, your blood vessels expand to accommodate the increased blood flow, enhancing circulation throughout your body. This increased circulation fuels your muscles and helps flush out waste products and toxins. A common side effect of exercising and mood and motivation killer is the pain. Don't let it demotivate you. The pain is actually beneficial. As a response to the pain, your brain releases certain chemicals, including endorphins. These will not just kill your pain, but also help boost your dedication so you'll push harder and by the end of your session, they will elevate your mood. Another of the immediate perks of this is on your brain health. Immediately after a session of moderate to vigorous physical activity, you'll find a reduced feeling of anxiety, specifically short-term anxiety, improved sleep health, and improved aspects of cognitive function. All of these immediate effects lead to less fatigue and being more proactive and productive which, in turn, will majorly improve your mental health and your ability to be the best version of yourself on a daily basis. According to the CDC, heart disease and strokes are the two leading causes of death in the United States, the risk of which can be reduced easily. How, you ask? Well, that's where exercising consistently comes into play. Let's look at the long-term effects. Your heart becomes more efficient at pumping blood. This leads to a decrease in the resting heart rate, meaning your heart doesn't have to work as hard during periods of inactivity. Your blood pressure is regulated. How? As your heart becomes more robust, it can pump more blood with less effort, reducing strain on your arteries. This, combined with the relaxation of blood vessel walls, can contribute to a healthier blood pressure. Regular exercise also promotes the growth of new blood vessels and neurons, which in turn improves memory, attention, and overall cognitive performance. Another additional benefit over time is the reduction of type 2 diabetes. Is that a stretch? No, really. People with type 2 diabetes suffer from insulin resistance, which essentially means the cells become less sensitive and less responsive to insulin. To compensate for this, the pancreas produces more insulin to get the cells to respond. However, because the pancreas cannot keep up the necessary pace, blood glucose levels eventually rise. However, exercising regularly increases insulin sensitivity, which helps the cells use any available insulin to take up glucose from the blood. Additionally, when muscle cells contract during exercise, they are able to take in glucose even when insulin is unavailable. Let's move on to the most interesting bit, muscle development and weight management. It is well known that a balanced diet and regular exercise play a crucial role in burning calories and maintaining a healthy weight. You can't out-train a lousy diet, but the synergy of the two can work wonders for your overall health. Eating patterns and physical activity play a critical role in weight management. 
it's all really the simple math of consuming and burning calories. To gain weight, you need to consume more calories than you burn. To maintain weight, you need to consume as much as you burn. On average, depending on your lifestyle and medical history, 150 minutes a week of moderate regular exercise can help you achieve this. To lose weight and keep it off, you must burn more calories than you consume. This means you will need a high amount of physical activity, unless you also adjust your eating patterns. Exercising is not just about shedding those extra pounds, it's also about boosting your metabolism. Calling on all cardio enthusiasts, yes, take note, regular strength and endurance training do play a key role in getting fitter. As your muscles grow and you become fitter, so does your metabolic rate. A faster metabolism means you can also burn more calories at a resting state. Whether it's lifting weights or doing body weight exercises, you're helping to create microscopic damage to your muscle fibers. Don't be alarmed, this is a good thing. As your muscles repair and rebuild during rest, they become stronger and more resilient. Over time, this leads to increased muscle mass, improved strength, and a toned physique. Regularly, exercising is not just about physical gains. Let's explore the impact of exercise on mental health. When you exercise, your body releases endorphins, known as the feel-good hormones. These endorphins interact with receptors in your brain, reducing pain perception and triggering a positive feeling. It's like a natural mood booster, helping combat stress, anxiety, and even symptoms of depression. One of the first aspects of our lives to get affected by tremendous stress and anxiety is our sleep. And if you watched our segment on sleep last time, you'd know how drastically it can affect your life. So another way consistent exercise can be your ticket to dreamland is how it helps decompress the mind which is a cognitive process that is important for naturally transitioning to sleep, and how it regulates your circadian rhythm by releasing melatonin, that is, the sleep hormone. This increases the amount of slow-wave sleep we get. What's that, you ask? Slow-wave sleep basically refers to deep sleep. It's a stage three of non-REM sleep where the brain and body have a chance to rejuvenate. That's why catching up on good quality sleep is so important. However, please be mindful not to exercise too close to bedtime as its energizing effects might interfere with your ability to wind down. As we reach the end of our marathon, let's touch base with some immunity improvements that regular exercise brings about. Our strong body needs a robust defense system to function at its best. Regular exercise helps give your immune system a much-needed boost. How so? It enhances the circulation with immune cells, making them more effective at detecting and neutralizing pathogens. So keep moving to keep those colds at bay. This helps contribute to a higher quality of life as you age. Think of each workout as an investment in your future self. And there you have it, the incredible journey your body takes when you commit to regular exercise. It's time to hit the gym and make every move count. Remember, the information presented here is not a substitute for professional advice, and you should not rely solely on this information. Consult reliable sources for accurate and evidence-based knowledge on the benefits of each exercise and the ones most suitable for you. Don't forget to hit that like button, share your exercise experiences in the comments, and subscribe for more fascinating insights here on Datadose. Until next time, keep moving and stay healthy.